You know, we need to talk about this. I grew up there. I don't, I don't want to just sell our house. Dean. It... Oh my God. It's my, it's my new phone. Sorry. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I can't talk now. I'm with my son. You see, I'm busy. I, I can't see you. It's, a, it's more of a voice thing. Oh, you think you can't see me? Yeah, dream on. They know what's going on at the other end of this thing. There. Oh, well, I just took a picture of my sandwich. Okay. Well, at the 2016 Tribeca Film Festival, uh, a, a movie emerged as the winner of the grand prize there, the top prize they had, and it was picked up by CBS Films. That movie, well deserving of all of that, was called Dean, and it is finally opening now, and it is one I urge you to see if you like smart comedies uh, mixed with human drama. That's what this one is, and it comes from the mind of Dimitri Martin. You may know Dimitri Martin as a stand-up comic. He is an author, he's a writer, a comedy writer, and all of this, but he's making his feature film debut as a writer, director, and star. A triple threat indeed. And uh, think of the movies of uh, Woody Allen, of Wes Anderson, of uh, Hal Ashby even, and people like that. I think that he's captured uh, some of that style, but he created his own. And I was really impressed with what he's done here in a debut feature that is far more accomplished than most. Dean revolves around uh, a father-son story, essentially. The father played wonderfully by Kevin Klein. They are both going through stages of grief and loss as Dean's mother has recently passed away. He's also dealing with changes in his life, trying to figure out where the future lies, while also uh, having that ongoing relationship with his father, who is dealing with the idea of selling the family home. But Dean goes off to Los Angeles from New York, where he gets an interview with an advertising agency. He's a very talented illustrator, and he thinks this could be a whole different kind of opportunity and life change. Well, what happens in Los Angeles is great because there's a new romantic interest for him that uh, starts there, played beautifully by Jillian Jacobs. Oh yeah, hey, uh, sick. Yeah, I can be there in like 10 minutes. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Weird reception out here. Yeah, in your face so hard. I was just doing a bit. Are you gonna stay or are you gonna go? Um, I'll stay. Phew, what a relief. Yeah. So we see sort of his life divided between New York and where he's been and Los Angeles and the promise of that. This is a bit autobiographical, but certainly not completely for Dimitri Martin. But he knows this territory well, and it's a very wryly accomplished. There are some very funny scenes in it. And as an illustrator, he uses illustrations, uh, kind of pencil sketchings that are really smart uh, throughout the movie to further the uh, plot along, as it were. I really, really like this film. It's gentle nature. It's terrific. It's actually a triumph, a funny, heartfelt, and wonderful new comedy that really does mark the emergence of a special new talent. It's the summer's most unexpected delight for me, and I love this because it's going up against, of course, comic book movies and blockbusters and things like that, and offers an adult alternative that's well worth taking. The movie is very well made, both in Los Angeles and New York, and it's one I highly recommend if you want to see something good, but something that's also about stages of grief, and if that sounds depressing, it's not at all. Dean is a winner all the way. I say, go.